Hello everybody. So um, under all of these crazy circumstances, I am coming to you with some workouts that you can do from your home. Today I'm bringing to you a HIIT workout that you will be able to get a little bit of cardio, some strength, and some core work. We're going to be doing some standing exercises and some grounded exercises and everything's going to be 30 seconds each. So we're going to superset two different exercises that will get your heart rate up. Then we're going to go into two exercises that will work your lower body strength and then your upper body strength. And then we will hit the floor and we will do some body weight work, um, working upper body strength as well as your core. And all of that will be very core driven when we hit the ground. Okay. You wanna have a couple sets of dumbbells. You'll only need to have one dumbbell. So just grab a couple different sizes if you have. If you don't have a dumbbell, grab a water bottle or something like that that you can work with just to give you a little bit of weight. Okay, I'm going to get our clock ready. Um, because we will have a timer that will tell us when we're going to switch exercises. We'll have a five second uh, transition in between each superset exercise and a little bit of time as we move um, into our other exercises and then between circuits as well. So just get yourselves ready and get ready to move. Our right, first exercise is dumbbell swings. We're gonna alternate arms for this. So grab one of your dumbbells and start to swing it through your legs. You're gonna have 30 seconds starting right now for those dumbbell swings. This is gonna help to start get that heart rate up Get your body warm and get you moving. Bring that dumbbell about shoulder height, maybe a little bit higher, not too high as you swing up. Switch hands at the top of that move. 10 more seconds on that clock. Then we're going into our second move to keep getting that heart rate up. Take that dumbbell to the side and drive your knees up for high knees. So to modify this, just nice and easy, bring it here, or simply march in place. You got 30 seconds on that clock. Use the core strength to drive those knees up towards that seal. 20 seconds left on that clock. Take it at a pace that's not equal for you. Again, work that modification if you need to. Drive those knees up if you can. Five more seconds on that clock. And one, grab that dumbbell. You're gonna go right back to dumbbell swings. One more set. 30 seconds on that clock. Twenty seconds left to go. Should be feeling that heart rate coming up, that body getting warm. Ten seconds left on that clock. Last three seconds, and we're gonna drive those knees up one more time. Five seconds, put that weight down. Get yourself set. Driving those knees up here. Or if you're gonna modify it, just keeping it moving. Simply marching in place. Either one of those is too much. 20 seconds on that clock. Pace yourself for it. Ten seconds left to go. Five more seconds. Last three, two, and one. Good, now we're gonna go into our strength portion of it. Grab one of your dumbbells, and we're gonna be sitting into squats. Feet hip to shoulder width apart, shoulders down, open up that chest, and engage that center. That weight you're gonna hold right here in front of your chest. Five more seconds. Get ready to sit into those squats. In two, and one. 30 seconds on that clock. Sit that bottom back so that you put the weight into the heels of the feet, right here. Squeeze your quads at the top, and don't thrust those hips forward. Keep those shoulders down and back, and engage that center for the entire move. Now you can take these squats to whatever feels comfortable to you, small move or a big move. And now we're gonna go into an upper body move, grab that weight, Hinge forward through the hips, taking your hand on your opposite thigh. Rotate and pull for a rotating row. Looks like this right here. Use that arm, use that back to squeeze and pull that elbow up to that ceiling. Coming on your last and final five seconds here. And you're gonna obviously switch arms on that second set. You got two and one, bring it up. Take that weight in place, 
Sit down into those squats. One more time, feet hips shoulder width apart. Sit into those heels and as you come up, push the floor away from your body as if you are digging your heels into the ground. As if they're glued there and you want to press that floor away from you. 15 seconds and then that opposite arm is going to do that rotating row. 10 seconds left to go. Press through those heels once again as you come up. Good, switch those hands, rotate and row. Opposite hand on that thigh for back support as you move through that thigh. Coming on your last and final 10 seconds right here, rotate and pull. Squeeze from that back, keep that arm nice and close to the body every time you rotate up. Last three, two, and one. We're gonna get ready to hit that ground. We got 20 seconds on the clock. Our first exercise, we're gonna hit the floor, come all the way down to our belly, get those arms, hands off the floor, as well as the legs, reach forward and pull back, squeezing through those back muscles. Then we're gonna quickly flip it over and do some sit-ups. Right here, reach forward, pull back. Try and keep those legs up and off of the ground, squeezing those glutes, keeping those arms up, and looking straight down at that floor. Right down at that floor, use that strong back muscles. And then you gotta take a quick rotation onto your back for your second exercise. Reach and pull. One more time, quickly flip it over, extend your arms and legs, lift your shoulders up and drive one knee in, take it down, lift the other knee in. Now if you want to advance this a little further, you can come all the way up, but you do not have to do that. If you can't lift your head and neck at all, you can just bring it here, moving the arms and driving that knee in. So level one here, level two, lift your shoulders, level three, take it all the way up if you can. Pause at the top. Let that core really engage at the top of that move. And once again, we're gonna flip it. Pull those hands in, lift the legs up, hands come off the ground, reach forward, squeeze and pull back. So basically just your belly on that floor. Cover everything else over that floor, look straight down at the ground. Flip it over, extend your arms and legs, drive one knee in, lift the shoulders up, drive the other knee in, all the way up, only if you can. Right here, pause at the top, strong through that center. Circuit number one. Circuit one complete. Get ready for circuit two. You'll leave that one dumbbell as well. Get some water if you need. Take a little break and reset that video as soon as you're ready to go on to circuit two. Okay, circuit two, we're back to cardio and getting that heart rate up. So you're gonna do a lunge and pass from the inside of the leg to the outside. If that is too much, you're gonna knee and lunge, passing it underneath the knee instead of underneath that lunge. So get a big step back if you're lunging. Get that knee up nice and high if you're lifting that knee up. Keep that upper body nice and tall, trying to lean forward to get underneath it. Rather get down lower to pass that dumbbell. Good, place that weight down. Left foot forward, right foot back. Hands are gonna be together. Knee strike, bring the hands into the knee and the knee into the hands. You can do this nice and fast to make it more intense or you can slow it down, make it nice and slow. Take it at your own pace for those 30 seconds. Keep that upper body nice and tall. Hands to the knee, knees to the hands. 10 seconds left to go and we're back to those lunging pass or knee passes. 
five seconds left. Grab that dumbbell, lunge and pass. Once again, if the lunge is too much, make it a knee pass. A little bit easier on the knees. If you're lunging, get down low enough to pass. Go from the inside to the outside of that leg, passing it to the other hand. 15 seconds, halfway there. Five seconds left on that clock. Weight's gonna come down. Right foot's gonna come forward, left foot back. Stack those hands on top of each other and drive that opposite knee into the hands. Hands into the knee. Once again, getting that intensity up, that heart rate up. Fifteen seconds, halfway there. And then we're moving on to our strength. Lower body, upper body, move. Good, 20 seconds, catch your breath. We're gonna continue with some lunges, but more strength driven. It's gonna be a static lunge. So we're gonna start with our left foot forward and our right foot back. In this staggered lunge position, options on the lunge, you can just lift the heel up instead of bringing the knee to the floor, okay? But we're gonna keep our feet in this position. Front foot flat, back foot on the toe. Drop that knee as close to the ground as you can. You can even come all the way down. If you got some cushion on that floor, and push up from there, making it even harder. 20 seconds left in that clock. Keep that upper body tall, don't lean forward. You want to center your body weight between both of those feet. Five more seconds left to go. Last two. And one more time, step it in, drop that weight into your right hand, rotate and curl. So right here, you want to work through that five step, rotate and curl into it without swinging. So place it up, place it right back down to your side. And then we'll switch legs on the lunge, and we'll switch arms on that bicep curl right here. Rotate and curl. 15 seconds on that clock. Right side at work. Coming on those last five seconds right here. Three, two, and one, set up your opposite static lunge or heel down and up. Get set and go. Once again, dropping that knee as close to the floor as you can. Or all the way down to the floor. They got some cushion there, pressing up from it. Front foot flat, back foot is on those toes. Press it up. Five seconds. Step it in, drop it into that left hand, rotate and curl. Use that bicep to rotate and pull up, bending, extending through that elbow. No swinging, place it. seconds. Three, two, and one. All right, we're dropping to the floor for our body weight move. Starting with body weight and then moving into core. First exercise, we're going to pop it up into our full plank. Shoulder taps, tapping the opposite shoulder. If you need knees to the ground, we'll modify this and make it easier. Get set either on your knees or on your toes and start to tap that opposite shoulder with your hands. 30 seconds. And then you're gonna quickly rotate to your back just as we did before with straight arms and straight legs. Last three seconds. Rotate, straight on straight legs. Now take those fingertips by your ears, bending the elbows. Rotate up with an opposite shoulder to the opposite inside of that knee. If you can, all the way up for that rotation. 
So now we're adding in those obliques by rotating into that move. Rotate back over, set yourself up on your knees or on your toes, strong plank position, either way, and tap those shoulders. Extend the arms and legs, take those straight arms behind the fingertips, behind the ears with bent elbows, rotate, lifting either just the shoulder or the entire back, and rotate into that knee. Bring that shoulder to the inside of that knee. And circuit two is done. Pause the video, go get some water, and get ready for circuit number three. Okay, for circuit number three, place that dumbbell right on the floor in front of you. Legs wide, toes turned out, just slightly. Grab that weight, keep it close to the body, pull it up all the way to the floor, stay low as you switch it into the other hand. Now, if that's too much to get that low to pick it up, just come where you can, and switch it there. Instead of bringing it all the way to the floor, if you can, all the way to that floor. Every time, grab it from that floor. Keep it close to the body and pull it up and over that head. If you can't go over the head, just pull it right in. Second exercise, back away from that weight. Sit it down, jumping jack squat. So you're hopping it in with the legs straight, out and wide. Modify, nice and easy. Just step it in and step it out and into a squat. So you decide where you want to be on those jumping jack squats. Take it at a pace you can manage. Five more seconds. Step it in, hover over that weight, grab it from the floor, keep it close to the body, pull it up. Back down to that floor and switch. Once again, if that's too much, transfer it from hand to hand rather than from all the way on the floor. 15 seconds on the clock. Last three, two, and one. Back away, get low, jumping it in for those jumping jack squats, or stepping it in and out from that squat. So whatever level you can manage. You can only step it in and out, step it in and out. Keep it moving best you can. Marching in place, always a good option. Good, ready for that strength? Then grab that weight, moving on to a big plie squat. So this one, we get our legs out as wide as we can. Turn those toes all the way out. Keep that body lifted. No leaning or hinging over through the hips. Weight we're gonna hold in front. Lowering down as low as you can, feeling that stretch in your inner thighs. Pressing up from the floor. Smaller move if you need. Bigger move if you can. Think about pressing and digging those heels into the floor. Like you're pushing the floor away from your body with the heels of your feet. Step it in. Take that weight in your right hand. Rotate it up right in front of that shoulder. Rotate and press overhead. This is called an Arnold press. But if you can't go fully over your head, you're going to push here without the rotation, a little bit up, but not all the way. 
If you can, full range, all the way up to that rotation. Full on the truss. Five more seconds, and we'll do the other side on our second set. Good, once again, getting those legs out wide, turn those toes out, set that weight in front, engage your center, lower down, press it up. Press and dig through the heels of the feet, coming down and pressing back up. Trying to get as many muscle groups as we can in a small amount of time, with a little bit of high intensity here. We've got five more seconds left to go. One more set of those arm presses, opposite side, so we're stepping in, get in position, bring it up in front of that shoulder, rotate and press. Once again, if that's too much, smaller range without the rotation, small press up, all the way with the rotation if you can. That standard strength is done. We're going to hit the floor. We're going to be doing push-ups. You can do them from your knees or on your toes. I'll be doing them from my knees. But if you're doing them from your knees, I want you to try to get that chest all the way to the floor and push yourself up from there. All the way down every time. Push up from there. On your toes, come as low as you can. Press up from there. Set your position and go. 30 seconds on that pause. And then from here, we'll take our rotation onto our back as quick as possible into our straight arm, straight leg position. Rotate as quick as you can, straight arms, straight legs. This one, we're going to interlock the thumbs, take the arms behind us, kick one straight leg up, lift your shoulders, reach for the toes, take it down, lift the opposite leg, and if you can, all the way up, really trying to bring those fingertips into those toes. Straight up. And if lifting the head and neck at all is too much, right here is fine. Just keep that straight leg up and bring those hands up to meet us. Flip over, going back into those push-ups, starting all the way to the ground here on your knees, and press up from there. Getting that chest all the way to the floor every time. Rotate it around, interlock those thumbs, set your position, either just the shoulders up, reach with the toes, all the way if you can. Get some water. We got one more circuit left to do. Total of four. You're almost there. All right, last circuit. We're going to get our legs out wide. I'm going to reach for the inside of those feet. Now, I got something a little bit more advanced for those of you that this is very easy for. Step it in and reach for the inside of the foot as you move through a side lunge. So it looks more like this. Step it in, bring it behind you. And then bend one knee at a time. Okay, so a little more advanced here. But if you need, you're just keeping it wide, rotating, reaching with a straight leg. Okay? Let's take that weight down to the floor. Get yourself on one side, 
push over to the other. Just call it the skater, but you can step side to side if the hop is too much. You can, you're working on pushing from one side to the other side, one leg to the other leg. Push off, push off. Ten seconds left to go. Grab that weight once again, either getting wide or feet together. Whatever hand it's in, you're stepping out the opposite one if you're moving through those side lunges. Side lunges aren't for everybody, so take that first option if you need to. If you're moving through those side lunges, make sure you stick in your bottom to the back corner of that room as you step down and bend that knee. Otherwise, you are just staying with those straight legs Getting a nice stretch through the back of those legs. As you rotate around, reach for the inside of that foot. All right, weight down, get it out of the way. Get onto one leg, push off, 30 seconds. Last and final, cardio exercise right here. Get that heart rate up. Now we're finishing out with our strength and our body weight on the floor. Four seconds. All right, let's grab that weight. We are gonna move into hip abduction. So let's get ourselves standing tall on one leg. The opposite leg's gonna come out to the side. Slight bend in both. You wanna move through your hip, don't rotate through the leg. So it's gonna be a small move coming from the side, right here as you come out and in. I'm using an eight pound here right now, but I'm gonna switch out when we go to the upper body move uh, for a five pound, because I'm gonna be able to control that a little bit more for the tricep extension that we're gonna do. So I suggest you do the same, unless you got really strong triceps that are gonna be able to get through that move. So I'm switching out, I'm taking my five pound weight, gonna bring it over my head, bend and extend right here. Now once again, for those of you who may not be able to bring anything over your head, you can opt for that tricep kickback. Okay, so option two is there. Right here, if you can. Full extension up. And you can bring that hand to brace it, keep it in position as you extend up. Just make sure it's staying right next to that head. The inside of your arm is right next to your ear, not necessarily pressed against it. Good, and then I'm switching out for that weight, bringing it up, going right to the other side for that hip. And once again, try not to rotate that foot. That foot should stay parallel to the other foot, inside to inside. All the while you're balancing on the opposite legs, so you're getting a little bit of stability work in that opposite side. Keep everything lifted. Don't lean over to that one side too much. Five more seconds. Take it down, switching it out. Taking that opposite arm up, or that kick back again, if you can't come up and over that head. We'll raise it in position. You can help to hold it there with the opposite hand if that helps. Extending up, keeping that inside of that arm right next to your ear. Drop and hit that floor, same position as before. Plank position. On the knees if you need, on the toes if you can. We're doing what's called plank ups. So we're down right, down left, push up right, push up left. All the right lead, and then the second set we'll do all the left. On your knees, we'll do the same thing. Just gonna make it a little bit easier to move through it. Let's get set and go. Down to forms right, then left. Press up right, press up left. Down, down, up, up. And you can simply just hold the plank here or up here if you're not ready for any of the movements in any of these circuits. So if you redo this and all you can do is holding the plank, 
That's where you want to be until you get those strong enough, okay? Simply holding a plank is always a good idea to get that strong first. All right, straight arms, straight legs. We're going to keep those thumbs separated for this. Reach for the inside of the opposite foot and come down, lifting one shoulder off the ground and taking the opposite arm to the side. Now once again, you're strong enough in that core, all the way up, pull back coming up. And really reaching from the inside of the opposite foot, inside, not outside. So now you're getting, once again, those obliques in with straight leg lifts instead of knees this time. Pop it back over. We now have that left lead, either on your knees or on your toes. The left comes down first, then the right. Press up left, press up right, or simply hold a plank down here, or hold a plank up here. Work on getting those strong first. straight legs. Reach for the inside of the opposite foot. Once again, if you can't come all the way up, just lifting the shoulder. If you can't lift that head, move the arms. Kick the straight leg up. Keep the head on the ground if you need to. circuit number four and also completes your HIIT workout for the day. Now make sure you keep checking back for more workouts. I'll be filming all the workouts that I'm doing. Um, some will be with music and me talking. Some will be just the, the uh, exercises and then you'll kind of time it yourself. But I will try to post frequently some different workouts that you can do right from home. Very minimal equipment that I will be using so that everybody will be able to get those workouts in. I will show modifications, so don't feel you have to do everything. Modify things, march in place, or simply hold planks for some of those harder uh, things that we're doing. Um, take it at your own pace, that's all that I can tell you to do. Make sure you visit me on Facebook, Stay Fit With Joy. Um, on Instagram, Stay Fit With Joy. On YouTube, Stay Fit With Joy. I'm gonna start setting up some live classes soon that we can all kind of come together and do a class at the same time, so look for that schedule. Um, you can also get all of my information at stayfitwithjoy.com, and I do have an online training app with a couple of programs that are already set up, automatic, um, but I am with you throughout the entire process, um, touching base with you and kind of motivating you along through it, and I also have some custom training options as well. So if you are looking for any of that stuff, definitely feel free to contact me, and I will help set you up a workout schedule that works for you.